This is a JMT CNC drill line. This machine has 11 axes of motion. Each coordinate system has its own X, Y, Z and they can simultaneously drill at the same time. As the beam is moved into position, there's a 20 inch window. You can drill, you can mill, you can tap, you can countersink, and you can scribe in any of the three systems at any given time. There can be drilling coordinate system one, coordinate system two, all independent of each other. So if you have an XYZ move, it's calculated so they all end up at the same one point at the same time. That's interpolated move. Say you have a 10 inch Y and a 10 inch X and a 6 inch Z. It's going to move exactly 45 degrees at the time it takes Z to move 6 inches. So they all have to come to the end point at the same time. If all 11 axes were in one coordinate system, everything would be interlocked and everything would be slow in doing this. So within a coordinate system, each coordinate system has its own interpolated move. So this one can be doing its thing while this one's doing its thing somewhere else and this one's doing its thing somewhere else. They don't care what you, each other are doing. Each coordinate system has a four station tool changer. And so, like I said, you can drill, mill, tap, scribe, countersink in any of the coordinate systems independent of each other. Each coordinate system has a 20 horsepower Mitsubishi drilling spindle. Each drilling station has a coolant, either external flood or mist or internal uh, through the bit and it could be air or coolant. This machine, particular machine, will accept a 50 inch wide by 22 inch tall beam. As we're, you're looking at this machine right now, you're seeing a very small input conveyor. This is just one segment of it. This, this uh, machine is capable of a 60 foot beam. It has positive beam positioning. Uh, a lot of beam lines use uh, friction rollers to position the beam. This has a arm with rack and pinion for positioning the beam for better accuracy, maintaining 0.004 thousandths. One advantage of this machine over a friction roller drill line is that you can do small segments of beams, where if you have a friction drill line, you have to have the beam through both uh, sides of the machine to be able to drill it. This will allow you to do short segments of beam if needed. After you load the beam into the machine, the machine, when you hit the cycle start button, pushes the beam forward. There's a laser on the other side of the machine that measures the beam so it knows exactly where to start and then it positions itself and starts drilling. Uh, this machine has uh, absolute encoders, uh, very accurate machine. You do not need to hold this machine when you power it up. 